Karibuni comrades to RSL's YouTube channel and today we'll be discussing CDC, the competency-based curriculum that was introduced in Kenya in 2017 and the inequalities of education in Kenya and what solution socialism has to offer. So stay tuned for more revolutionary content. Welcome. The CBC, aka the Competency Based Curriculum, was introduced in Kenya in 2017 after 32 years of the 844 system. It was introduced in Parliament through sessional paper number one of 2019 and it was uh, touted as one of the most groundbreaking revolutionary ways of reforming the education system in Kenya. But however, as we've later found out, the CBC is going to create uh, workers without critical thinking and this is the nefarious plan of the government. So there's still so much to critique about the CBC system. As I had mentioned earlier, CBC was introduced to Parliament through Sessional Paper Number no. 1 of 2019, which the state claims is a policy framework to reforming education and training of sustainable development in Kenya. But what is sustainable development in a capitalist state like this? And you know, CBC was modeled after Israel and Canada's education system, and we all know these are colonial settler states and Israel is an apartheid state, so why are we borrowing anything from them, so much so as something as critical as education? Uh, well, the CBC is also uh, touted as being better than the 844 system because somehow uh, the students are not going to be cramming uh, theory and are going to you know, develop skills and talents. But uh, what is concerning is that chapter 10 of sessional paper number one states that uh, the state will strengthen public-private partnerships uh, to reform and to fund the educational system in Kenya. And that is a cause for concern because that is neoliberalism. And that is why as socialists we are against the CBC system. What is the difference between 844 system and the CBC system? Well, the state claims that 844 is more on mastery of content and encourages rote learning, unlike CBC, which focuses on learners' performance and skills and competencies. But we have to ask ourselves, competency for who? CBC is knowledge for the elites and competency for the masses. So they are developing workers to work for the elite. The elites are going to have workers who have no critical thinking. So that is the main difference between 844 and CBC. CBC is going to worsen education inequality in Kenya because it is designed for short-term training of workers and it's not supposed to be for critical thinking. Well, the state claims that one of the seven pillars of uh, CBC education is that it's going to encourage critical thinking in students in Kenya. However, the state is abolishing arts education in universities. So that means they don't want Kenyan students to have critical thinking. They are contradicting themselves. Also, the CBC learning materials are expensive and inaccessible to so many children in Kenya. Talk about printing costs, talk about Googling things. So another uh, issue with CBC is that parental involvement is something that they have touted. However, parental involvement fails to acknowledge the class disparities in Kenya because there are parents who cannot be there for their children because you know they are busy serving the capitalist state, working long and reasonable shifts. Also, uh, there are parents who never had a chance to go to school. So asking parents to be second teachers at home is unreasonable. So this is how the CBC is going to be unfair to the masses. And also, the CBC is very rigid. It forces children to choose a career path at a very early age. I mean, the typical 10-year-old uh, doesn't know what they want to do with their life at that stage in life. So if you are telling kids, hey, uh, since you are very good in the arts, then this is all you should pursue. I mean, come on, they should pursue mathematics, they should pursue sciences, 
up until to a stage that they are comfortable. So forcing kids into these rigid malls is a very nefarious plan of the state to make sure they develop, uh, you know, uh, workers who are only skilled at a particular thing so that they can serve them more efficiently. What are the socialist solutions uh, that we can offer to this very capitalist education system? And one of them is to discourage public-private partnerships as touted in sessional paper number one, 2019, that was introduced in parliament to unveil the CPC system. The state claims that they want to expand the educational sector by involving uh, private partners so that they're going to fund you know, private schools, uh, they are going to lend money to private developers in uh, the guise of developing education in Kenya. But as socialists, we understand that education should be free and accessible to anyone who wants it. And we should be building better schools in Kenya. We should be paying our teachers better. We should be doing capacity building in the public sector and not finding private enterprises. So, of course, uh, as socialists, we are totally against uh, Chapter 10 of Sessional Paper Number 1, 2019, that wants to involve uh, private uh, partners in the development of education in Kenya. Also, as socialists, uh, we would love for all children to go to properly funded schools. I mean, we have public schools in Kenya that uh, don't offer the same services to children because we have public schools in Nairobi that look nothing like public schools in Turkana. So as socialists, we want all schools to be equally funded and we want children, no matter where they are from Kenya, to have a chance at quality education. Also, as socialists, we are committed to decolonizing the curriculum. So we are not going to be borrowing models from Israel or Canada or any of these Western states. We are going to develop indigenous education that has solutions for our people, that speaks to our people. And right now there's a petition in court uh, to stop the CBC curriculum and we urge all Kenyans of goodwill to participate in this petition to stop this nefarious plan by the government to impose the CBC curriculum on us. So it's a wrap for today. Uh, we've been discussing CBC and how it is a capitalist-based uh, curriculum and the socialist solutions that RSL has for the educational system in Kenya. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Please like, share, comment on the comment section and also be sure to follow us on social media. Keep it here for more revolutionary content and as always we welcome revolutionary content ideas. So thank you so much for watching our channel.